Hi, I'm LAC Bobbin Kriakos. And I'm SSC Rosetta Norbert and we are chefs of the Royal Air Force. Today we, are, we will be cooking for you uh, aubergine and points when consider choosing or purchasing your aubergine is making sure that it is nice and firm and it is to a good shape. Sometimes it can be all different shapes but basically you want one as a firm shape so it sits well, cooks evenly when you're ready to serve. So today we are going to take the top and the bottom off and we're going to cut it lengthwise and we're going to cut it again, so cut that one again and we're going to cut to get a firm and when you're ready to serve in basically you want it to sit firm on the plate so we are going to take the side of it to get an even surface. We are going to score the skin and the flesh of it just to make sure that it evens the cooking process and getting that lovely spices into it to get all that flavour that you're looking for when you're cooking your dish. So the marinade we make today for you will be adding cardamom seeds, black onion seeds, turmeric, chilli powder, fennel seeds and a pinch of salt. Before we mix all that in we're going to marinate our aubergine with a bit of oil so this will help to get that seasoning into that aubergine and then we're going to mix our lovely spice mix we've got here and now we're going to marinate the aubergine for about three to four minutes reason for this we want all that lovely flavor of all the lovely spices into that aubergine we're going to press into it to get some of that mixture into so you're just going to push it all in make sure it's all rubbed in nicely because you want to get all that flavor in to bring all that spices that lovely spices that you're using you don't want any of it to go to waste so just get it all in your aubergine so now we're going to make a spice crust for you to accompany the aubergine. Using a pestle or motor, this is going to use to grind all the mixes and all your dry ingredients into a nice lovely crust. So firstly, we're going to add two cloves of garlic and we're going to press down using the pestle motor to grind that garlic to get that flavor, get the oil out to bring that lovely texture and flavor into your dish. We're now going to add some brown sugar this will use to balance the spices. We're now going to add some toasted sesame seed. So we're going to add some toasted coconut. We're going to add some chili powder. This will bring the heat. And finally, some poppy seeds to bring all that mix together. We've also got here is some roasted peanuts. The peanuts is what we're going to add at the last because we want a bit of texture to our crust. So rather than everything grind it all the way down, we're just going to add this to get a bit of texture to it. We're just going to put the pan on the fire just to get warm through. After this crust is made, we're going to look to put it on something that we can dry all the moisture out because you want it to be crusty, you don't want it soggy. So we're just going to pour it out and let it air dry. So we're just going to open it up just to get a bit of air through to dry that crust. So in with our pan we're going to add some oil which we're going to use to fry the aubergine in a shallow fry pan. So while the oil is coming to temperature, all that lovely moist um, flavor from the seasoning and all the herbs has actually gone into your aubergine. You need to leave it to rest and get all that lovely flavor into it. So to test your oil, we can simply drop a little bit just to make sure your oil is to a right temperature. You don't want it too hot because the last thing you want after all this effort, you've actually burned your seasoning. So our oil is nice and to a nice temperature. Pressing down when it's entered into the oil to get all that lovely flavor. So it was basically you're trying to fry off all that seasoning you've had 
to bring more flavor into it because now it hits in hot oil, it releases all that flavor. So you want this cook about two minutes on each side, but just make sure you got all corners of that aubergine cooked. So you want to seal the top, the bottom to get a nice crust. Pressing onto it will ensure that you lock all that flavor, all that beautiful moisture that you get from that aubergine. While that's cooking, I've prepared a pan that's got some towels on here. And this basically we use when it's finished to drain that excess oil. So to get rid of that excess oil when you're ready to plate and serve. With your aubergine cooking, you will notice that as it starts to suck that oil up, you will see the cooking of the aubergine going up. So that's what you're basically looking for when it's halfway, is when you flip on the side and carry on cooking on the other side. Just make sure you've got a nice toasted. So as you can see here, you've got a nice toasted top. This is where you get all that flavor from that lovely spice mix we made earlier to get that flavor through. With your aubergine being in the pan rested, we're now gonna re-season by adding some more salt because when it's frying, you can get excess salt coming out of the pan. So we're just gonna re-season it to get that extra flavor into it. So while this is resting, getting that oil away from the aubergine, we're now gonna prepare a salad for you. And the salad can be any green leafy salad, but today we've actually got some figs in it to provide that sweetness to balance your flavors into your aubergine. And we've got some peanuts as well going through it. We've also prepared for you a light dressing, which is made of olive oil, vinegar, sea salt, and some poppy seeds. This is used to bring all the elements together, give it a little bit more flavor, a little more texture, and we're gonna season that with some salt as well. We've also prepared for you, it's a roasted baby gem that we seared on the stove. It's the same way you can do it with the frying pan, just to get a nice color, a bit of texture, a bit more flavor into it. We're just gonna mix the salad up together. So the peanuts gives it a bit more of a texture, a bit of a bite to your salad. And getting all different flavors with your fig and your green leafy salad. So this is your choice, this can be dressed any to your preference. So this is our salad. Now we're gonna dress our aubergine. So in here we have got a tamarind chutney. And tamarind chutney is, is quite of a tart, it's got a tartness to it, but it brings all the flavor, it balances all the flavor together with the sweetness and the savoriness of your salad. So we are going to put a couple scoops on top of the aubergine. And our lovely crust should be well crusted now, getting rid of that excess moisture as you want to see is that loose texture. So you get a bit of bite and just to get that texture you're looking for. So we're just gonna spoon some of that lovely crust we made over the aubergine. And get the peanuts in there because you want that crunchiness, you want that lovely texture, that bite into your aubergine. And today we have served you aubergine with a peanut spice crust and served with a green salad with peanuts and fig. Thank you.